Hey there everyone, Brian here with What You Have Experience. Happy Friday to you. Today's shave will feature Katie's Bubbles Spanish Holiday along with the matching splash. For a razor today, I have, this is the Rockwell Model T uh, adjustable. I have it set on the setting three. As my first use with this, I am using a PAA Amber Light synthetic brush and I am all lathered up in the bowl. So with that, I'm gonna wet the face and we'll, we'll get started. Oh, thank goodness it's Friday, folks. I'm a Monday through Friday guy, so it truly is my Friday. Always nice when that comes around. And uh, super happy about that. And uh, so the Model T came to me, um, was gifted to me very generously by Ken Shave326. So this will be my first use of it. I used the uh, 6S the last couple of days. I think I used the three plate Wednesday and the four plate um, yesterday. So I thought, well, I'll bust this out. And I've got it loaded with a Nasset blade. I thought I'd start on a three because I'm probably not a one or a two, but I'm probably not a five or a six. So, um, I thought I would try it on that. So we'll see how that works for me. Excited to try it. Uh, the funny thing is if you watch my unboxing video that uh, it didn't come in a box, it came, um, it didn't come in the original packaging. And there's no, um, interestingly, there's no, like on the 6S, it says Rockwell on the side, but there's no, um, branding anywhere on the razor. And I actually had to, uh, I took a picture of it and sent it to Ken. I said, what razor is this? Because in the unboxing, I actually didn't know. So um, I guess amateur hour right there, right? All right. We got plenty of lather with Katie's Bubbles today. Um, I used a little bit less soap than I did use yesterday. I, if you watched my video yesterday, I noted that it, it seemed to take, I put about as much soap as I usually put in there and I got a tremendous amount of lather. In fact, when I rinsed my bowl out yesterday, there were actually still um, some soap on the on the bowl that didn't get emulsified into a, a lather. So uh, I put a little bit less in there today. I still got an extremely large amount of lather. Um, it's a nice, creamy, dense lather. Um, and uh, I mean, there's, to, I, I don't want to say simple, but I mean, the, the soap ingredients, um, you know, it's not a laundry list of, of things, but it has some good stuff in it, jojoba oil, uh, shea butter, uh, coconut oil, um, glycerin. So um, this is not, I guess I didn't realize this yesterday, but this is not, I don't think it's a tallow-based soap, right? Steric acid, water, coconut oil, potassium hydroxide, shea butter, fragrance, uh, sodium hydroxide, jojoba oil, sodium lactate, and glycerin. So, not a tallow based soap. There you go. At least it's not listed in the ingredients, so I would assume it's not, which I did not realize actually. So, there you go. You learn something every day. All right, so let's go. It's a rather large head, and I noticed um, the one, the um, Adjustable mechanism actually doesn't lock into place as it hits the numbers. It's very smooth. So I'm almost wondering if you could shave with it at like, you know, if you wanted three and a half, maybe you could go three and a half. I don't know. I got a very, very smooth shave for me on the four plate, a little bit smoother than the three the day before. Uh, I do not have a particularly um, thick, um, hair on my, uh, I'm already losing it. Um, it must be Friday. I do not have a particularly thick <laughs> or dense hair growth on my face. So I don't have a lot of hair, like very densely growing. And I don't have a lot of really thick hair either, coarse hair. So, uh, that's what I was trying to say. Uh, so far pretty smooth. You know, um, I think this razor is a little bit more expensive in terms of price point than the 6S. Um, so I'm not sure 
And I'll shave with it a few times. I'm not sure, you know, what would prompt one to purchase this over the, um, the 6S other than, I mean, you don't, you can just dial it rather than actually fumbling, not fumbling with, but you know, removing and changing the plates. But to me, that's, that's, that's not a deal. Uh, but so far, pretty smooth and mild on the three. I don't get a ton of blade feel, which for me is good. So my friend Eric, the meticulous shaver, as he's might be known on Instagram, was uh, and he does a lot of video. He does videos for West Coast Shave, so he doesn't have his own channel. But um, anyways, he kind of enabled me on this Katie's Bubbles purchase a little bit. It's one of his favorite artisans and um, one of his fa favorite scent makers as well. So I think you can talk about what kind of soap you like, but then you can talk about like fragrance and stuff. So, um, and this Spanish holiday is one of his favorite ones. So um, I tried the LMR yesterday, which was probably one of the most popular fragrances Katie Bubbles makes. And then um, the Spanish holiday based on Eric's recommendation. And this is a nice scent. I mean, it's unlike anything I've ever smelled before, really. Um, it's very, it's got musk in it. It's, so it's based on rosewood, I think, if I remember right. Rosewood. Sweetened rosewood with hints of coriander and musk. And I don't really get a lot of muskiness out of this. Um, I think I, I can get the rosewood. I'm not really sure what coriander smells like, to be honest with you. Um, so, but it's, it's based off of, apparently Chris made it for somebody who actually asked for it. And it's based on an actual soap. And I think it's a bar soap that somebody tried or found or used when they were visiting or traveling to Spain. Um, which is why it's called Spanish Holiday. And then, so Chris made this soap and it's kind of become a regular mainstay soap, I think, for Kitty's Bubbles. Which probably explains why it's kind of so fresh and clean smelling to me, because I do get that soap vibe um, in a good way, not in a bad way at all. And I do get a little sweetness out of it. I mean, it says sweet and rosewood, so I get some sweetness out of it. All right, this thing's, uh, this thing's humming along on a three for me. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice looking razor. Uh, it's got some nice knurling in there. It's comfortable in the hand. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned now. It's got a first use Nasset blade in it. I've really, really grown to like the Nasset blades. They seem to so far work well in every razor that I've tried them in, which is nice. I think as I off the tub, I. I thought this was a nice scent, but as I'm using it and lathering it up, I'm finding I think it's uh, just got water in the in the spritzer here. I'm finding the face. Uh oh, man! I thought we had. I thought I. I thought I was in. I thought I was in the clear today. What's up, dude? Hi. Poppy. Hello, little man. Let me close the door. What's up, dude? Got my Foo Fighters going today. I'm a big fan. Dave Grohl in the group. I was a big Nirvana fan back in the day. I'm aging myself, but uh, one of my favorite bands of all time. I 
and then uh, obviously the Foo Fighters. Fantastic group. Did you sleep okay, buddy? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I dreamed about. What'd you dream about today? Let's see what you dreamed about, again, folks. You? You dreamed about me? Awesome. What else? Me. And you? Okay. All right, and third pass me. here. And I dreamed about Carly and Andrew and Mary and Uncle Arthur and that stuff. Oh, the whole family, huh? Yeah. Oh, cool. I feel like this shade is very similar to the 6S. Um, very smooth, very comfortable. Not a lot of blade feel. Daddy, it's on the three setting. Yeah, buddy. I love you. Oh, I love you too, buddy. Always makes my heart sing when you tell me that, okay? Anyways, I think the Daddy. Spanish holiday is, as I'm using it, I'm, I'm liking it more and more. What, buddy? This one is bigger than this one. Yes, it is. What do you think? What do you think of this one, buddy? Let's see what Isaac thinks. Take a take a good whiff. Thumbs up. Yeah. What are, what would you say in words? Hmm. Yummy. Yummy. I lick it. You can kind of lick it. I bet it wouldn't taste very good. You want to try it? I didn't think so, huh? Oops, sorry. I'm sorry, buddy. <laughs> Pat his head and I poked his eye a little bit. Sorry, buddy. All right. I don't do the traditional against the grain fool's pass. I just kind of pull my skin a little bit more and kind of do Daddy, that in the mustache area. Yeah. Do you think this one is cool? I do think that's cool, buddy. The orange one? Yeah. The orange one is really cool. Isn't yeah. that one of your favorite colors? Huh? Isn't that one of your favorite colors, orange? Yeah. That is this red. That is red, yeah. I like red too. And I like rainbow. Rainbow's good. I like rainbows, do you? Yeah. All right, I'm gonna rinse the face. I do like rainbows, buddy. You know, I felt a little spot here where we kind of missed a little bit on the jawline. So I'm going to just throw a little bit more soap up there. There we go. Rinse that again. Okay. Pretty smooth shave. Uh, I'm very happy with the Model T. Daddy, you look it. Yeah, I see that, buddy. Cool. Same, same. All right. Let's uh, let's try the Spanish Daddy, holiday splash. Can I see the blade in there? Well, you can look at it, but I don't want you to touch it. Okay, you can see the blade right there. Right here. Yep, it's inside there. Okay. I want to see it while okay. it's right there. Okay, well I'll open it up when we're done. Okay. I'm gonna uh -huh. be very. He's very curious, which is great. Don't want him to hurt himself. <laughs> Be very careful. Well, he opened it. Oh, don't be careful, buddy. And dump the blade out. All right, there we go. There's a the shave for today. Katie's Bubbles. Spanish holiday. It's some place I'd always wanted to go, Spain, and I've never been. Someday, I will get there. Anyways, 
Thanks for tuning in today, folks. Hope everybody had a good week. Hopefully everybody has a great weekend. I probably won't be back until Monday unless I'm expecting a couple mail calls. So I might be posting a mail call video um, sometime this weekend. But thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you like what you saw, please consider subscribing below if you haven't already. If you're a subscriber, hey, thanks for the support. I really appreciate it. As we grow the channel, we are at uh, up 255 last time I checked. So we're going to try to get this thing at least to, I don't know, however high it will go. But uh, 300 will be the next milestone for me. So look for a 300 subscriber giveaway soon. And uh, we'll see you on the channel.